Hey everyone, welcome back to Elden Ring. I made it back here to the windmill village where I think in today's episode I'm gonna take this little path down here to this map marker because I don't know man, that just kind of seems like the sort of natural progression of where we need to go. There's not really much else complicated to it. We will probably see a lot of shit on the way there including something shooting at us but I think our horse is speedy enough where this will not be too big of a problem uh, yeah so this is definitely like I'm guessing the capital city there they are you know this is so cool that there's like legit siege weapons in this game I don't I don't know man like when you think about it it's a bit weird like why would there being, I don't know, trebuchets in a Souls game or a FromSoft game make any difference, but it kind of sort of does, even still, you know? I don't know. As I said before, I do appreciate the the enemy variety in this game, which is pretty good, you know? I only say that because <clears throat> like you you guys know I like Neo uh, especially Neo 2 Neo 1 I sort of had mixed feelings on but Neo 2 I do like however one of the things that kills that game for me and kills sort of the replayability a little bit for Neo 1 and 2 is the lack of enemy variety the fact that you fight the what the fuck is going on here? The fact that you fight the same guys essentially throughout the entire game is... Well, you know, it just gets boring after a while. This is so cool. There's like a giant battle here. What are these things? Looks like giant arrows or something. Holy fuck, they are. Capital outskirts. Do these fools have like the Odin from Call of Duty Ghosts? with them. There's an obscure reference for you people. Just referenced the Odin from Call of Duty Ghosts. So yeah, again, I really appreciate the fact that this game has enemy variety. Sure, you know, there's overlap, of course, there's like recycled enemies in any game, but it sort of looks very good so far. And I'm pretty far in, so... I feel like I'm at a point now where I can basically form full opinions of this game. Anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna head along the main path here because I wanna hit the map marker. So apparently there was like a... What? What? It's... Margit, I remember you, because you have the name of a Hungarian lunch lady. He just shows up out of nowhere. I mean, he did say he's not dead. Watch out for that tail. This, this is like a... You know what this is? This is a cool test of how far our abilities have come <laughs> since like the beginning of the game. He has a lot of HP. You know what? And even back at the start, I didn't think this guy was too difficult. So I expect... I expect no problems. Fuck, this thing does a lot of damage. Yeah. Careful. Yeah, yeah, he goes for his quick combo attacks. Honestly, I'm kind of... I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit caught with my dick in my hand with this guy. This is like the last thing I was expecting. But cool, cool. I mean, again... 
Like, is this guy just gonna be showing up from now? What the hell? Oh, cheater. You didn't have that move before. Hey, you're gonna cheat, I'm gonna cheat with magic. And I'm gonna down this. Okay, shouldn't have done that. That actually costed me. I still have the stamina recovery, which is fucking. Dalsim. That was quite a wind up. Come on, get away. Yeah, I don't want to be stuck in this like trench with this guy. Does he have some new combos? Because I don't remember some of this shit. Like some of this shit he's doing. He's dead. He's not dead. Now he's dead. Thought you could get me? I don't think so. Viridian Amber Medal. Oh, there are plus one versions. This is one of the things I was thinking about but didn't like really talk about it. I was wondering whether there are plus one or two versions of uh, talismans. And there are. What does this do? Greatly... Fucking, yeah. Hell yeah, bro. I was sort of like missing a good third talisman because that HP recovery shit is like, you know, it's like the life ring or something. Uh, it barely does anything. I should level up because... Or just because... I shouldn't risk... Oh, hello there. You got some lore for us? Vati. Spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? Let's hear it. In Marika's own words, hear me, demigods, my children beloved. Make of thyselves that which he desire. Be it a lord, be it a god, but should ye fail to become aught at all, you will be forsaken, Ye. amounting only to sacrifices. I'm just talking about Kanye all the time. Shall I turn your wounds to strength? Let so what I'm getting from the lore, like, as far as I understand, uh, essentially what happened in this game is the... <sighs> fuck. People are like, were like really telling me to get more vigor. So from what I understand is all these demigods uh, that we saw at the start, they had like a huge ass battle after this Queen Marika disappeared. And that's why all this shit is like this. Very eloquently expressed by Mr. Sketchhead right here. They had a big ass war and that's why all this shit is like this. Couldn't have Couldn't have spoken better, could I? Anyways. That don't really matter because there is one of these things. Which gives us a golden seed. There's the finger crone or whatever her name is. So, does she just, like, teleport around like hell, or are there multiples of these things? Not that it matters. I think they're all different. That's us. If we want to do that. I think. I see it. The 
fingers. Cool beans. Um, I have a desire to use a rune arc. I don't know why. It's just... I have five of them, so why not? I don't know. Is this necessary? Probably not. I'm just gonna die and lose it all. And knowing the ways I tend to die, it's probably gonna be like me falling off of a cliff or something. Um, but yeah, let's use it. I, th I feel like this is one of those, like, even worse than humanities. Like, oh shit. Uh oh. You have got to be fucking with me. This ain't even a boss. Like, it doesn't even have a boss HP bar. What did I say about losing my... Yeah. Oh god. This is not a good place to fight this thing. Yeah, okay. Can I just get my map, please? Did it fuck off? I think it did. Okay, I'm gonna be... Oh, sh two golden seeds. They're like, upgrade your ass to this bitch. I think that's the that's the message the game is giving uh, pretty heavily. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Yeah, th that's the thing I'm gonna lose my rune arc on. But yeah, I wanted to say like this is something that's like even okay, sort of worse in a way than humanities because it's even scarcer as a resource. So you're always like, oh, should I use it? What if I find a big-ass boss and like you know what I mean but then probably what's gonna happen is I won't end up using any of it by the end it always sort of works out like this okay so we have sort of the thing unlocked Lane royal capital uh, okay I'm assuming that's definitely where we have to go so let's check out some of the side areas uh, I see a couple Mm, I didn't really explore this part of the map either. And there's stuff here sort of barreled towards the main goal. But yeah, let's have a look around. Even without Elden Ring explorations, sometimes we'll just explore. I think this is just going to be a church. Uh, that's what it's looking like. Oh, Minor Earth Tree Church. You know, I wonder like... One thing I've not figured out with lore is what the connection is between these pots. Okay, Golden Order Seal. We'll check it out. What the connection is between the pots and the minor earth trees. Because these pot guys always seem to like hang out around minor earth trees. Okay. Oh, hey. listen, we're striking up many conversations with Melina. I always want to call her Melina, but it's not right. There's spoken Marika words everywhere. Yeah, so the Golden Order is like their main religion. Out! Oh shit! Is this, is this make contact? Did we seriously just get make contact? Okay, we can't, we can't level up. Hold on. That is seriously. Oh, come on, where is it? I want to see it. That is. So that is actually make contact, except it's, a, it's slightly different. That is really cool. Oh. 
Oh, it's a, it's a talisman. I was searching for this thing like crazy. Formless seal depicting the ceremonial observation of order. Enhances golden order fundamentalist incantations. Interesting. 70 int. What the hell? It needs int and faith. Oh, are these... Are these like the hexes of this game? Something like that. Oh, that's where we were. The Divine Bridge. That is pre a pretty big area. Okay, I'm gonna check this place out first. Probably easier to work back here. Yeah, okay, this is it. This like side path over here. From the main entrance. We'll see if this actually goes anywhere or... You know, like things tend to in this game. We haven't actually seen like a proper catacombs or something in a while. Uh, and that's sort of one of the things... Oh, hello there. Bro. Do I smell upgrade materials? Nah, I thought so. That would be... That would have been very convenient. We had magic. Yeah, so one of the things we definitely need is upgrade materials. Uh, we haven't actually, like, gotten any in quite a while. I was sort of picking them up at a fairly steady rate and... Gravity stone fan, okay. I was sort of picking them up at a fairly steady rate and now they've kind of sort of just disappeared. I'm gonna rescue these guys from servitude. Oh, this is definitely something. I see the statue or stake of Marika from here. You always know some shit is about to go down when you see one of these. Oh no, that's not a... What the shit is that? Falling star beast... Oh, motherfucker. Oh, there goes my... What did I say about my rune arc? Yeah, it's always like that, isn't it? And that's why you... That's why I feel like... Shitty using it because like I didn't get any benefit from that probably this on like subsequent playthroughs will be a lot better because first of all I'm better at the, I'll be better at the game where the hell is my oh okay first of all I'll be better at the the game Th this is such a fucking thing uh, yeah, we, we, we can't do this with the horse, because if you get knocked down your horse, it it stuns you. It stuns you actually for quite a long time. And it, ju it can just get the attack and kill me. That, that thing looks way too strong. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you know, that's the thing. Like, you never know what you're gonna get. Fucking hell. Ah, oh, this thing is... Oh, could this thing be any more annoying? Is this all it does? It... What the... Okay. This thing seems way too strong. Uh... Judging by the fact that I barely did any damage to him, and he does quite a lot of damage to me. It looks like his head is weak. Yeah, I don't think... How do I keep surviving? <laughs> uh-huh, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're, we're going. This this thing is way too strong. Uh, this is not, like, my 
level currently. You know, I actually just noticed that there's an ever jail over there. The question is, how the hell do you get to it? There must be like a path down somewhere. Here maybe? I feel like that's still gonna kill me. Well, actually, people are always telling me there is an easy way to check. And that way to check is to use, I should have them, rainbow stones. Let's see if this works. Oh, yeah, wrong thing. Yep. Okay, that's gonna kill. Yeah, these things are... I'm glad they made them very useful. Because uh, these always were like weird sort of additions. Oh, here it is. Cool, cool, cool. Kind of in the mood for an Evergill boss. Let's do this golden lineage. Oh, fuck off. This is like... I, I don't think I have any. And this is a double one too? Yeah. Well, that's not the best. But it looks like there is also... Oh hey, it's a little secret tunnel. I'm getting assaulted by bong smoke too. As long as it leads somewhere interesting. Somewhere I can go to an Elden Ring Explorations. Who minds, right? Hello there. She just kind of keeps exploding, bros. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna take this, right? Cool. Great shield talisman. Let me guess. It reduces... Stamina damage you take while blocking. We'll find out in just a second if I was correct or not. Where the hell are we? Oh, we're going that way. Yeah, because this was this is sort of like the other path. I mean, we might as well. No reason not to take a look, right? I should wear blood blade. Don't I already have that? Whatever. Let's see. Boost guarding ability. Yeah. I knew it. I've been playing these games for quite a while. Hello there. What the hell is this guy? He's like a dead guy from Lord of the Rings. Hey there, giant. There's like a weird assortment of enemies here. But no dungeon. I get what this guy is doing. He's doing some like magic bullshit. I need. It's difficult to catch him too. Cool. Alright, let's get our revenge. This gen does a lot of damage. What? Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. What the actual hell was that? Ah, these fucking im statues everywhere.
Oh, he still has his sword. That's the thing. Cool. That should be one. Oh, come on. Yeah, whatever. I'm okay with not getting the critical. Right, let's take care of the other one as well. Whoa! Body slam. You guys are learning some new moves. This, having this ridiculous amount of stamina is so helpful. Yeah, okay, so the the these like weak attack contextual like critical hits seem not wonky, but it seems like you have to be in a very specific place sometimes for it to trigger. Like I've had it drop several times. Not just against these guys, but you know, any assortment of random enemies. And honestly, I'm not even sure wherever I'm going right now is like even anything. I seem to be going into the unknown old Altus tunnel and this seems to link back into what the hell is this place? This is not the... yeah, no, this is something completely different. It's like a new fortress. Poison, I'm guessing. I know poison when I see it, people. Been playing Souls games for quite a while. This is really interesting. Yep, okay. <laughs> if ever you needed confirmation. Alright, horsey, thank you. The Shaded Castle of... Fuck, I'm just gonna get... That is a lot of damage. I'm just gonna get poison here, aren't I? Oh. God, everything has so much HP. Usually if something has like this much HP... In like a normal ass area. That's like your indication that you're not meant to be here yet. Okay, good thing I didn't waste uh, poison, whatever. Yeah, we'll we'll check this place out. Uh, but I I sort of have a feeling that we're not exactly meant to be here. I'm gonna get to fuck it. Thirty HP. Shaded castle, yeah, because I don't even see where the map thing could be for this place. Hmm. Yeah, I sort of... I sort of see where this place is going. Man, could be some cool shit here. Treasure-wise. I think it's always worth taking a look. But, you know, okay. I mean, this seems doable. Not gonna lie. I don't feel like... Except... That was an interesting death scream. Shit. See, the thing is, like... As we've determined in Kaled, this game takes... Like, actual levels a lot more seriously than some of the other Souls games. Yeah, okay. Th this ain't gonna work. I can already tell this is... Like... Anytime a regular ass enemy takes like... 50 or over 50% of my HP with a single attack, I know I'm not... Where I'm meant to be. The question is, do I care about them Souls? I don't have that much there. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna cap off the episode with, with 
one last check. Let's let's check out this place in the divine capital. Let's see if we're like now more well equipped to potentially deal with uh, this enemy here. Oh, yeah, we can't do the horse. See, but the thing is, like, to me, it still seems like oh, this is an elevator. Oh, I don't know why I thought there were like platforms here that will that would allow us to go down. This place is very, very cool. When I first got here, I was like, what the hell? Uh, who knew that we'd actually be here by now? It looks like this is going to be a crazy ass area. There is no other way to to put it. Oh yeah, we're okay. We're okay. This guy isn't that strong. Now he ain't. Yeah, especially if we do that. Deals massive damage to them. 4,300. Like, seriously. Should patch that out. Creators of this golem. He has such an obvious weakness. Can let him freak out a bit. Is he gonna fall off? Just being careful because he looks like he would be able to yeet me off of here if he wanted to. Okay, and one more rep should do it. I mean, he's strong, but... In terms of HP, strong. Oh, okay. I did not know you can do that. You are, like, very, very dangerously close to the edge. Yeah, I'd prefer if you weren't there. Cool. Yes. Exactly where I want you to be. And I bet you... I already picked up the treasure here, uh, and I bet you there is nothing else here. Oh, fuck off. I got the wrong side. He's dead anyways. Mm, looking like it. Cannot be used now. And again, I'm pretty sure I already picked up the actual treasure. Okay, well, this was sort of a waste of time. There's a divine tower there, right? Yeah, an arena and I think this. Okay, well still, we got to kill the enemy and enact our revenge. Um, Yeah, I think what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode of Elden Ring right here. We have our path, like we have the gargoyle here. There's the earth tree still. So we, we still have, oh, it looks like there's a, there's like a back entrance to the castle too. I'm going to take a look around. We're definitely going to need to explore. Plus this whole ass region. Plus the second part of Kaelid. We still have a long way to go. I'll go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode of Elden Ring. Make sure to give this video a like. As always, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And I will catch you next time. Peace out and goodbye.